So this tortoise, this is a massive animal. Beast is an absolutely apropos name. The sulcata is truly one of the great species of tortoise. And guys, it's just incredible how big this is. Hey, what's going on everybody? Ken in here. Kate, what are you doing? Hi. Check out Kate's boots. What are we doing? We're, we're, I, oh, yeah. I like it. She's got some cool new hiking boots. We're going, we're going to Idaho soon. Yeah. yeah. We're, yeah, we're going to Idaho soon and I've been getting things ready. Uh, but today's video is just, this is, I gotta show this thing off, man. This is one of the biggest sulcata tortoises I've ever seen. She hasn't seen, seen them yet. yet. Um, so I got a call, or, well actually, here's what happened. This morning my gates were closed as they are normally and I hear from in the house someone honking. That's what was going someone on. Someone honking from Some, in the house? No, no, not from in the house. You really. were in there. They were, she's so funny. Is that a mom joke? Because that was not funny. Was just the way you said it. All right. So anyway, I heard someone honking. I come out and it's a woman who says, hey, I'm sorry, but one of your tortoises is loose. And I'm like, I don't think so. Uh, everyone's accounted for. And she goes, well, there's a big tortoise at such and such road here in Jupiter. And bam, look at the size of this guy. This is beast. Look at this tortoise. Sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's shout out goes to our newest supporter, Zachary Belcher. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Is that incredible? It took me and my friend Rob to lift him and get him into the truck. The cool thing is, I'm gonna cover their phone number, uh, but look at this, check it out. He had epoxied on him this tag and I was able to contact the owners. Now here's the kicker, Ben. What's this? Well, the owners are in North Carolina. Oh my gosh. And they won't be back until later in the week. <gasps> Whatever are we gonna do? Um, so what's gonna happen is Beast is gonna stay here in this, he's all alone here in this enclosure. And um, they're, gonna co they're gonna coordinate when they get home with Rob, who's watching my animals while I'm away. Uh, and, and staying here at the house, making sure everything's uh, going smoothly. So uh, look at this tortoise though, he's beautiful. My God, they did an amazing job with this tortoise. A perfect shell. And when I tell you, I'm gonna go around the other side so they can kind of see. I was gonna see. say, you gotta get those things. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta what see his, his Guler projections. The males, the males get these really beautiful Guler projections and they use them to battle each other. So this tortoise uh, has gotta be the biggest Close to the biggest. I mean, this rivals the size of some of Bob Bloom's tortoises in Arizona. This is a massive animal. Now, a lot of times, you guys have to understand, sulcata tortoises have a very wide range from East Africa all the way to West Africa along what is called the Sahel, the, the fringe of the Saharan Desert. It's arid grasslands. It has monsoonal rains and so forth. Uh, there's his Guler projections right there. Uh, he is a big boy and um, within this range there is actually some geographic variation in the tortoises. Now I haven't studied much up on it. I know there are people out there, uh, uh, Tomas, oh god, what's his name, Tomas Digmon. I, I'm saying his name wrong but he works with the Turtle Survival Alliance. He does a lot of work with sulcatas in Africa. There are definitely tortoises from different localities that display different sizes, uh, different shell kind of flanges. Here are the males uh, in what tend to be of Sudanese origin get the really beautiful flaring of their um, marginal scoots there, right there on the carapace that I just showed you. Here are the cooler projections, but just this guy is massive. Cool. He's really cool, yeah. yeah. That's where they get that name uh, Sulcata. Uh, because it means furrowed or sculpted in Latin and um, you can see the legs uh, each one of those uh, spikes there or scoots is actually bone uh, on their legs they have free floating bone similar to a crocodile's osteoderms and those are like augers these guys can move he's got a little spider hanging out with him uh, these guys are like um, just incredible earth movers uh, they can just 
they just charge right through it and that's because where sulcata tortoises are from there are very extremes in temperature during the day and night so in the daytime to escape a lot of that heat they dig these long burrows and they live in them and then at nighttime they uh retreat to the burrows also to stay warmer the other cool thing guys is when we did a video from our buddy uh, Bob Blooms, he allows his animals in Arizona to go ahead and dig burrows. And some of those burrows were big enough for me to crawl down. And I actually did crawl pretty far down in one. Um, we might have some footage of that. Tom, check that out. Uh, show people what a giant sulcata tortoise burrow looks like. So, hun, this guy was massive. In fact, um, what do you think? Are you brave enough to come in this bamboo and hold this camera? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't I like I know she's spiders. afraid of plants. There's no spiders here. You just said a spider was crawling on his face. Yeah, no, that was the tortoise, not on us. Oh, so yeah, I kind of want to push him out so people can kind of see a little bit more of him. Come here, buddy. Come on, buddy. I really want them to see. I could not lift this guy by myself. Come on back over this side, hon. Okay. Come on, here buddy. we go. Come on, beast. He is massive, hon. He is massive. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I wanted so I wanted everyone to see him move. Like, look at how big around he is, guys. Look at this. This is massive. This is one of the biggest sulcatas I've ever seen. Certainly here in Florida. I just haven't seen some massive sulcatas. This guy has got to be ancient. Um, the owner uh, is gonna. I spoke to the owner, Michelle. She lives here in the neighborhood. Um, I don't know how long she's had him, but she has another tortoise named Rafiki. But guess what, guys? Here's what's funny. Uh, she watches the show. She actually watches Camp Tennis. Uh -huh. In fact, I think I've rescued one of her tortoises before. But I'm just happy that I'm able to be here because, guys, imagine if you lost your beloved tortoise and you were away on a vacation. Um, how stressed out would you be knowing that that animal's gone if someone called you and said, hey, I saw your tortoise walking around the street. The cool thing is, is that that woman who was here this morning um, sent me a text, showed me the tortoise, and I said, well, where is he? Is he still there? And she said, yes. So I thought, you know what? I would be heartbroken if an animal uh, that I've raised for so long uh, got away. I, I, I don't think I'd be consolable. Kate knows. Like, I, I get messed up if... No, if, if we were on vacation, that would just ruin the whole thing. It would ruin the whole thing. Yeah. So I, I spoke with her, and I, I let her know that the animal's safe. Uh, it's at my home. It's secured in a in a nice enclosure. He's got gonna have food. I fed him earlier. We could probably go get him a maybe some cactus. I'll I'll do that as, as we end the video. I'll end it with him eating some cactus here. Uh, but I'd like to get him some cactus and give him a little treat. Um, but I'm just glad that I'm on hand that I can help folks out. Uh, these animals are very popular. This is a very popular tortoise here in Florida. And what's cool is the fact that here in Florida, where I live. Um, there's a plane flying overhead, so yeah. I'm going to talk louder. Lots of planes. Um, but where I live here in Florida, uh, in this particular area, most of the people have um, a lot of property. So they're able to care for sulcata tortoises differently than most other folks uh, in the United States if you live in the northern climates. Um, so it's really uh, surprising how many people have pet tortoises out here in Jupiter. Uh, it's, it's so cool. So I'm glad I was able to help out. And uh, Beast is an absolutely uh, apropos name. Uh, it's the perfect name for this guy. Look at also his head. Get a close-up of that head. The head you know, and the neck. I was just, his neck is huge. I've yeah. never seen a tortoise with a neck. Isn't it inc thick? impressive? And, and you'll see some sulcatas have different shaped heads. When you really spend a lot of time seeing just the different localities of these sulcatas, you notice little differences in their appearance. And you can also understand, like you can see a head of a male tortoise. And I believe that you're able to tell the difference uh, just by the head shape uh, between the sexes sometimes. Um, it's just a very robust, big, beautiful head. And he's got real beautiful muscle tone here on top. The, the muscle tone on top of his head is really good. Um, guys. It's just incredible how big this dude what is. What is uh what's going on on his, his mouth there? Let's see where. That, oh, like that's probably that whitish stuff? stuff. So that's a good question, hun. So a couple things it could be. Uh, what I think it is is it's possible. If you look here, we talk about this here in Florida. Um, being that we are wetter than certain areas that these animals are from, every once in a while you get a very superficial um, fungus on their shell called scud. Um, you'll find it in wild tortoises as well, uh, but that white stuff, it's possible 
that it's a little bit of the fungus on his beak or rampathica. I love that word. That's a word I learned from my friend Larry Wood, the marine biologist. Rampathica. It's another fancy scientific word for beak. Um, so tortoises have a beak. Um, so it's made out of keratin, much like the outer part of their shell. And every once in a while they can get a little tiny uh, superficial fungus. Where I would get worried is if it, if it was ulcerative, if there was exposed bone and then you started to see blood and weeping from it, then you know that the shell rot has taken hold. Then it's shell rot and that's something different and has to be treated quick because the animal's shell is basically like our skin, our integumentary system. It keeps foreign bodies from getting in and causing us any kind of disease. If something got in, uh, he could go septic and die. So there you go. Little information, huh? Good. That's I what like you're your good hair. for. You kind of look cool with the, like almost Viking girl hair. Oh wow. Yeah, the ponytail up top. Did you guys see her hair? It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like when she looks looks like a little Viking lady. Because I'm trying what to grow you, Viking. Before beard. I look like a hippie. Now yeah, I look you know, like you're a Viking. Yeah, you granola with your hiking a boots, granola, and your yeah, socks, and stuff. I love my wife. She's cute <laughs> in any you. way she looks. But anyway. I love this tortoise. And remember, when they get to this size, guys, normal fences don't apply. They can plow right through them. So you gotta make sure whatever you construct your fences out of are gonna be really, really strong. Cause this guy is gonna be determined. If he can see through something, he can get through it. I've got board on the base of these fences here. It's a wire fence. I tried to put bamboo up so that you can kind of it kind of gives them a visual barrier because if they can see through the wire, they'll just continue to go through it and they could potentially push all the way through. So I don't know exactly how he's set up at home, but I can tell you that his owners are gonna have to reinforce the fencing because you don't want this guy to get out. I do see it out here on the one of those pages on the social media. A lot of these tortoises do escape. They do escape. It's popular out here and I always get the call to help out or um, if I've seen the tortoise or if they think it's my tortoise. But I've made Camp Kennan, uh, it's like Fort Knox. It's it's pretty, pretty intense. Let's see him move. It's just so cool. I don't care if it's a common tortoise or not. These are impressive tortoises, okay? The sulcata is truly one of the great species of tortoise. It is the largest continental tortoise species you can find. It is a beautiful animal. I mean, is that not incredible, hon? I had to show you Yeah, this no, he's got really cool, like, contouring the way his shell is yeah. dark and and light it's awesome it's pretty pretty it's pretty pretty he's it's pretty 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 he's pretty Birdie. cool our tortoise so anyhow uh you gotta you know one of the other things i have to be honest about um you know some of the folks that do work uh in in the uh landscaping around here and the uh the gentlemen who do the garbage uh, garbage pickup, they actually said this morning as we were picking this tortoise up, they go, oh, you, are you going to eat that? These people come from, uh, some of these people come from Haiti. They come from parts of the Caribbean uh, where there's not a lot of food. So this is an animal that they certainly would eat. So you don't want your animals to get loose here in Florida because somebody might eat them. I, I, you know, and, and gosh, you know, I don't think that that would be something in my head. I would think, wow, there's I, probably a lot of good juicy meat on that. I thing. gotta be honest with you. Um, years ago when I first moved here, um, there were some gentlemen doing some landscaping in my neighbor's yard and they looked, they were looking over my fence at the tortoises and they saw me and they go, Hey, Dr. Tuga, you, yeah, you, and I go, no, man, <laughs> no pets. Uh, but you know, just different cultures. So, uh, definitely make sure if you're watching this in an area uh, where you think these animals can get loose, it's always possible uh, that the animal uh, could be eaten. And the other thing that happens that I have seen happen, I've rescued animals from this fate, is I've seen people with a tortoise trying to just dump it in a lake, uh, thinking that they're a water turtle. So, uh, you know, guys, secure your animals, so important. Not for nothing also, you can also get a fine from Fish and Wildlife here in Florida if, you, if the tortoise is loose and Fish and Wildlife sees it's loose. Um, they may give you a warning at first, but if it keeps getting loose, you're gonna get a fine. Uh, we don't want uh, any non-natives roaming around the land, the countryside. So there you go, guys. Beautiful beast. What an animal, huh? I'm gonna go grab some cactus. We'll leave you with a couple of shots of this bad boy just chowing down. But you can see, even where I'm holding him, guys, He's kind of got a lot of room to walk around for the next few days. It's nice and secure. He's got shade. 
Uh, I think he'll be happy here at Camp Kennan for a little while. So he's uh, got a little bit of a little vacation here at Camp Kennan while his mommy is on vacation. And uh, I'll do everything I can to take good care of him. Now, you won't think he'll be able to get in just right across there. No, I, the I, other no, silk cottage, right? Not at all. Perfect. Nope. Um, and that's the other thing, guys. You know, I don't want, I wouldn't introduce him to my guys because, number one, I don't know where he's been. No offense, buddy. You might have something that my tortoises don't have. But more importantly, he would beat the crap out of Brutus. Um, Brutus is, I always thought Brutus was a big tortoise, but he is much smaller than good old beast here so beast might you know flip i don't him. know brutus is pretty big too all right let's go show everyone brutus come on don't come don't be uh don't brutus. be talking down no, about look, our sulcata hercules is pretty big but hercules is off in the back lumpy is yeah hercules has been like on vacation for months right, so but he's, let me show you guys nothing. i think brutus, brutus could take him you think he's big yeah brutus is big but he's not he's a big as, boy he's not as wide he's not as heavy. as heavy yeah i i, I agree hey he's, brutus are you where are you he's not as dense but brutus, are you in here are you yeah here? he's somewhere in there. i don't see him come here brutus there he is he's he's trying to come out but everyone's like nah the let ladies, me lift this the ladies up. are just hanging here yeah, there's Brutus, right here. So there's Brutus, but he's noticeably smaller. Yeah, I would say, yeah, thinner. And he's long, like got longer legs. Well, longer, and there you go. Legs. But there you go, guys, like I was talking about, there are differences the way these tortoises look. It was also a little more pyramid and he's got some deformity in his shell. Um, I picked him up uh, up in Long Island in 2004 and he wasn't much bigger than this. So uh, he's trying to get out with the girls here. I've kind of created a log jam. Aww. So uh, poor Lumpy is going to have to start kind of yeah, knocking. You see how thin his neck is yeah. compared to, to, beast. to Beast. It's really. Well, that's why they named the Beast, boy. I think. i got to put this thing down. He is. That's a big tortoise, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to say that I feel like Brutus's shell is like not bigger, but not as like dense. Yeah. Come here, do you want some of this? Have you ever had cactus? I mean, I don't think this guy's missed uh, many meals. So, I hope he eats it. Uh, I don't know if he knows that cactus is good. I don't know if his mother feeds him cactus, but you can't go wrong with a little cactus for sulcata tortoises, that's for sure. Come on, buddy boy. Sometimes what I do is I break it, and then it unlocks the smell. Oh, See yeah. that? I See that? Oh, he smelled that. So these are just little tricks I've learned over the years. Like, oh, he's not eating, but what if I break it? Maybe they smell something. So now he's interested. Okay, so you guys can try these things. Uh, if you have a finicky tortoise, you know, try and mash it up or mix it into some of their favorite food and it'll get them eating it. What I like about the cactus is it's got a lot of um, good nutrients and it got a lot of moisture in there for these guys. He'll get it, I, I have no doubt. He's thinking about it. He's just shy. He, we're strangers. He we are strangers. Well, you know what they say, right? You don't accept candy from strangers. Stranger danger. That's right. Any of you kids out there. If anyone says you want candy, you say no. That's and right. run home to run your home. mommy or daddy. Safety tip 101. Uh -huh. There you go. Um, what are you doing, dude? I don't know. <laughs> he's, he's like, keep <laughs> sniffing it. He's like, mm, maybe. I don't know. I Look don't know this, if he this. likes this brand. Maybe this is. I don't know. Favorite. I did use the variegated. I am using the variegated cactus. It's not the uh, straight spineless prickly pear. This is fancy because it's got little mm -hmm. lines in it. Um, but this is like caviar, you know. Right. But sometimes I don't know. Come on, man. You don't. Know. Well, you get 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 going. You got to eat you something. Just can't. <laughs> he keeps sniffing it. What the he hell? He's like is he doing? pushing it away. Like get it out of my face. Oh. That's a pretty tortoise, though. He's Look nervous, at, I think. I think he nervous. is nervous. Maybe he's got stage fright. That too. It's not like he's peeing or anything, but you know what I mean. No, like, he's, he's not used to being on film. Right, that's true. Yeah. The uh, camera's making him nervous. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You're really, you're really uh, making this video anticlimactic. I want to see you eating now. Now this is the through line. This is the story, this kid. This is it. Will, Will he, he eat the eat? cactus? Uh, 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 don't do no come back and the answer is negatory good buddy all right well whatever man we'll just leave it here i think you guys uh are definitely gonna dig this tortoise so there you go um say goodbye to beast what Hi. a monster bye beast bye beast almost threw my back out this morning lifting him yeah he's a big boy he's a big boy 
All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something about sulcata tortoises. We did a good deed, I'm pretty happy for that. It's nice uh, that uh, this neighbor of mine is gonna have their tortoise when they get home and they don't have to worry about anyone eating and or putting it in a pot. Good stuff, right? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Channel's been on fire this summer and it's all because of you guys, so thank you very much. And uh, I think it's because of the tortoises and lizards and snakes and crocs. I think you guys like the content, so thank you very much. We'll keep on giving it to you. See you soon. We're off. Oh, just a little button for this video. I was mowing today and I forgot to shut the gate, right? Look who's out. Hercules has no issues with eating cactus. After all that, I forgot to shut my own darn gate. Luckily, he's just here in the house. <laughs> I think he's allowed to have as much cactus as he wants. See you guys.